Hello and welcome to Fawad Lake's walkthrough videos. Um, in earlier WhatsApp goal videos, we have seen how to install WhatsApp goal and how to run initial scan and configure default email configuration. Today we are going to look at how can we integrate WhatsApp goal with external authentication like probably I would like to integrate it with um, LDAP or probably I would like to integrate with Cisco ACS. So today I'm going to link it with uh, LDAP to my domain controller. So I'll go to settings in system settings. I have external authentications. Uh, I would need to provide the IP address of my uh, server, of course. Um, and my domain name and I can browse into it so username I would provide and I'll connect to it right so if you look over here it has pulled all the groups from the uh, domain which I have created for these testing environments um, I have already created a couple of groups uh, inside my domain and if you look over here I have two groups called what's a goal admin and what's a goal report user so I'm going to add both of them in here um, now from what's a goal console what kind of rights I would need to grant them so we can create our own uh, set of groups with different roles uh, but we already have some default roles which I'm going to assign to these users and I'll show you what permission do these groups already have so for reports I have given report viewers and for what's a good admins I have given what's a good administrator group so what rights do they have I just need to come to user and user groups so what rights they have, uh, I just need to come to user and user groups. And if you look, I already have these groups which are by default groups. If I click on report viewer and I click on edit, so I can see their rights over here. What kind of rights do they have? Very few rights this user has. And if I look at WhatsApp goal administrator, you will see that I have full rights for everything. All right, so I have assigned these users now to check what kind of rights have been assigned to these users. What we are going to do is we are going to log in with different users to WhatsApp goal. Currently, if you look over here, only two users are there. You don't you don't need to add any user over here. You just need to log in with your domain credentials. If you are part of any one of these groups, you will automatically be added to WhatsApp goal with certain rights. So to do that, what we are going to do is, I'll just open a private Ignite window um, so that it should not duplicate my session with the one which is already open. So I have a user who is part of report, WhatsApp goal report group called Bob. And let's log in with it and see what kind of things I can get over here. And if you look over here, I can see very minimal tabs for this user. All right. Let's log out from this account. And let's log in with a user called Fawad. So let's log in with Fawad user. I'll just skip it. And now you can see I have full admin rights I can see each and everything inside this what's up good another thing which you probably would like to see is how I'm able to log in when I log into what's up gold using my domain credentials or LDAP authentication and authenticated user this will automatically add those users into WhatsApp goal if you look over here and their respective rights would be given. Today I'm not going to talk about restricting them to device groups. 
we'll probably do it in another walkthrough video uh, but currently just wanted to show you that now these two users have automatically added to whatsapp goal and they have been given certain rights to it thank you very much for watching these uh, walkthrough videos um, i really would like to see if you uh, need to see something you can comment on uh, my videos and ask me if you want to see anything which i can show you through whatsapp goal thank you for watching my walkthrough video